Now, the public face of the new Russia, George, focused on that a lot yesterday from Moscow. He's on his way back, but before that, he sat down again with the president and found out there is more than meets the eye. Robin, you can tell from my interviews with the two presidents that Barack Obama and Dmitry Medvedev like each other a lot. Uh, that may be because they're a lot alike. They're both young. Medvedev is only 44. Uh, they're both former law professors who carry blackberries on their belt. But here's one big difference. As far as I know, Barack Obama is not a big fan of 1970s hard rock. As a teenager, Medvedev saved four months to buy Pink Floyd's The Wall. You have a deep love of heavy metal. <laughs> Where did that come from? Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, Pink Floyd. Uh, That's from my childhood, my adolescence. I don't know. What music did you listen to at the age of 15 or 20? My wife makes fun of me. It was soft rock. Uh -huh. uh, um, <laughs> Although I lived behind the Soviet Iron Curtain, the music seeped through. We listened to what the whole planet listened to. He was living then in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, in a 430-square-foot apartment with his university professor parents. Medvedev became a professor, too, of law and married his childhood friend and high school sweetheart, Svetlana. The president cut his political teeth as the Soviet Union was crumbling, working side by side in the St. Petersburg mayor's office with a former KGB officer, Vladimir Putin. They rose together. Medvedev was President Putin's first chief of staff, and they remained close, friends and competitors. But as you saw in my interview, Medvedev says he's the boss now. If you consider the questions of foreign and domestic politics and defense, the security, this is only the president and no one else. Medvedev's more modern, logging onto the web when he wakes up. I go to official sites and journals, I go to international sites, and you'd be surprised, I do watch sites of the opposition. He hits the gym, too, most days for an hour. He's got a man breaking, then a and he was very publicly unhappy with how the Russians performed in Vancouver. You had a rough Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because for the first time, we had a steep decline in medal count. This is not a national disaster, but we have to learn a lesson from this. We should prepare better next time, because when you host Olympic Games, you are counting on many medals. And perhaps praying. Unlike his recent Russian predecessors, Medvedev is more public with his faith. You were brought up in Soviet Russia without religion, yet at the age of 23, you walk into a church to become baptized. Why? I did feel that I needed it. I wanted to do it. I believe it's good for me because afterwards my life changed. You don't really talk aloud about something like that because the religious feelings should be somewhere deep inside you. If someone is displaying it, they're not really honest. It's more like PR for yourself. But I believe religion is important for every person. Don't you think so? I found Medvedev to be much more open, less scripted and defensive than I expected. He also had a bit of a swagger coming off those successful arms negotiations with President Obama. As for his future, the next elections here are in 2012, and he said that he's going to sit down with Prime Minister Putin and they're going to talk about who will be the candidate. That should be quite a conversation, Robin.